Wow, it's been two months since we did our last monthly Gunpla release video. Well, you know what? Let's just jump into it. So the first thing we're gonna have is going to be the LBX Joker coming in at roughly 1,080 yen. This is gonna be released in July, no actual set day yet, but hey, July, probably gonna be early on uh, since it's pretty much at the uh, beginning of the list. You know what, the Joker looks really good. I'm liking the accessories. I'm pretty sure it's a re-release of the original Joker. If it comes with some new extra parts or something, that's really awesome. If not, hey, it's still pretty cool because I kind of wanted to get my hands on the Joker uh, for a long time actually, well before I even thought about getting into LBX. I just kind of saw the kid in a store. I was like, oh, it looks kind of cool. Never got, got around to get my hands on it. But I think this time around, I'm probably going to pick it up just knowing that the LBX line it's actually pretty solid, so yeah, we'll go ahead and see. All right, next we're gonna have is the Pokemon Plamo Mewtwo Mew and Pikachu set, coming in roughly about 1,400 yen. There's probably another kid that's gonna be coming out early in the month, but honestly, guys, that's a hard pass for me. You stop right there. Oh, so you got out of the grinder. You bet your sweet soft ass I did. It wasn't even a goddamn real grinder. All it was was Bruticus over there Goddamn grinded on me. Yeah, it wasn't gonna actually like grind you up or anything. It was, to be honest, it was just a prank. Well, to be frank, that prank was bullshit. Okay, so what's your thoughts on the kit? Hard pass. And next we're gonna have is going to be the Toy Story 4 Woody coming out in July for 3,200 yen. I am super excited about this. Um, so I've always loved Toy Story and I always wanted a really solid Woody figure, and I know they had like different types that uh, have recently came out, um, you know, Japanese brands. But you know, I just never pushed the button on getting it, and I think getting a model kit of Woody is going to be like pretty damn cool. So I'm super hyped for it. I really can't wait to get it, and it's just it's just going to be really awesome. And of course, you can't have Woody without a Buzz. So Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 4 is going to be coming out at 3,600 yen probably going to be in the same exact weekend so it's probably going to be a double review that's more likely what i'm planning to do if i do get these two kids simultaneously we'll see it could still be individual but i do think having them both buddied up in the uh, review would be pretty damn cool to be honest okay next we're gonna have you know what i don't even know what the hell this thing is what high grade one in 300 magna sarer sar sarer what is this it appeared in the Hot Blood Strongest Gaussar. What the fuck is this? I don't know what this is. Uh, it's gonna be at 5,600 yen. That's a, that's a massive great price tag right there. I don't know how big they're gonna be, but goddamn, that looks cool. That looks, I know it, it's gonna combine with uh, the previous one that came out uh, that had like different dino parts that combine. Something I really do wanna get still, but man, that looks cool. So that, that's, if, if it comes out in the same weekend as Buzz Lightyear and Woody, probably gonna skip on it for a little while. But if it comes out on its own individual weekend within July, I'm gonna get it. And next we're gonna have is going to be the high grade, this is the revive version, Destiny Gundam Heine Weston Flus. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is gonna be coming out for about 2300 yen. So it's, that price point's still up there just a little bit, but it's kind of odd that we're getting this at a normal release. I honestly thought this was gonna be a P Bandai, but when they slap normal release on there, I think it's limited to be honest. Like it's gonna come out normal, but it's gonna have like a short window and they're probably gonna move it to like a limited uh, kind of area. But I, I'm probably gonna pick this up. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I missed the window on the Destiny because I was just like, you know what? I don't really want it this time, and even now, I really don't need the Destiny in my collection. I just have way too many kits to get. This this is still up in the air. Uh, I'm really kind of like set on getting it, but depending on what weekend it comes out, if it comes out on a weekend that other good kits is coming out, I'm probably gonna pass uh, and, and just like go to something else in the backlog, uh, just that way I can shrink that backlog a little bit, because uh, come August, come September uh, and October, it's gonna be busy. I think November might be busy as well. I don't. We don't really have too many releases in that window yet. But man, uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below if you really want to see a review of this kit. It's gonna be the same thing as the Destiny Gundam. So if you've already seen the reviews for the Destiny Gundam, you already have your heart set on getting this kit based on what you've seen for that review of other people's reviews. Just you know, let me know 
that hey, you kind of want to skip on it, and I'll skip on it. I'll just I'll get something else in the backlog that most people haven't really seen yet. And next we have is the RE100 Zaku 2 FZ coming at 3,700 yen. This is definitely going to be near the end of the month. Uh, I guess it's going to be like the big release. That's just kind of my uh, guess. They've been pushing a lot of these big releases to the end of the month for whatever reason. Um, 3,700 yen, to be honest, like that's, that's not a bad price point, don't get me wrong. I'm just not into it. I don't think it looks that great. Uh, you know, it may have good articulation for a RE100. It may have some pretty cool gimmicks for RE100. Ultimately though, I just don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the accessories. I, I'm just not into the uh, this particular Zaku 2. Um, if it was like a normal Zaku 2, yeah, I'm all about that. But um, for this, I don't know, man. I just I don't see it being in my collection at all. So this is unfortunately going to be a hard pass. But you know, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. And as we have is the 30 minutes mission part Anova uh, set with all the different armor ones for like the special ops, and you also can get some other weapon sets. This is gonna be really cool. So we are getting the 30 minutes mission in June, at the, like actually in like tomorrow, I believe, we're getting the first set. So this Parts Nova set uh, is going to be like the next wave, and it, they're basically all the same molds, at least these three, just kind of molded in different colors. So you don't really have to put much effort into painting them if you want like actual different units. Like, hey, you know, the dark gray unit is like the bad guys, and then my red unit is like the good guys or whatever factions you want to kind of like put them in. If you want to put little stickers on them and like, hey, these, you know, emblems represent this crew. Regardless, I think this is going to be super cool. Um, I'm probably going to do a lot of mix and matching because that's what they really advertise. Like, hey, this is really customizable. Kind of doing the whole frame arms, you know, kind of shtick. Uh, but it is going to come with different weapon customizable uh, packs, which are going to be around 300 yen. Super cheap. Uh, and then you're going to have the armor sets. So this was going to be the special operations. Either way, I'm just super hyped. I don't care what they release. Uh, I've already seen some of the things that's coming out in the future window. All of it looks really promising, but a lot of it I really want to do painting. I want to paint like different types of colors, maybe do some desert teams, like a team of three that are desert oriented, a uh, team of three that's space, team of three that's more woodland. I, I want to go crazy with these. So they look pretty cool, and I know a lot of you in the, in the um, previous comments has let me know that y'all are really excited for these as well. So. I mean, let's, let's do something with them. Maybe we can host a contest with them or do something because these are really interesting. And out of everything in the P band, the only thing I really want to give a mention to is going to be the RG Tall Geese 3. That is something I'm going to buy. I'm 100% buying the Tall Geese 3 because the Tall Geese 3 Master Grade I have, which is the Dragon Momoko uh, Tall Geese 3, is complete and utter trash. So I want to trash that one or give it to someone and then I'm going to get the real grade because I think the real grade is just complete steps above the master grades. Uh, but it's going to be coming out next month for 3,000 yen. So hopefully I can get it for around that price. If not, maybe I can find it for a little bit lower. But we'll see. Uh, other than that, that's really all I have, guys. I'm not really wanting to get into the other P-Bandai's because I don't really think there are any noteworthy. You got like a new GM sniper coming out. You have a like... Uh, a titanium finish, uh, full saber master grade quant. You know, I, I'm not interested in any of those. You got like an, another um, what Carl, uh, Gustav Carl. So I don't think I don't think many people are interested in those. Uh, I just want to really talk about the main headliner kits. Uh, but that's pretty much it for me. It was, it's not really going to be a exciting month. I think uh, come July. But I think that's really good. I need a break. So I want to tackle the backlog as much as I can. Maybe get some recommendations from you guys on what y'all would like to see built. Um, I know probably many of you are going to say the perfect grade Wing Zero Custom Pearl version. And I'm probably going to say hard no. But who knows? Maybe next month could be the month I build the perfect grade Wing Zero. Uh, regardless of that, that's it. Just... I can't wait to start building again. I want to. I got a lot of kits I'm building tomorrow. A lot of kits I'm building in the near future. So exciting stuff, and a lot of painted builds too, and tutorials. I'm gonna give y'all some tutorials as well. But that's it for me. So like always, please rate, comment, subscribe if you can, and I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye bye. Keep interrupting my goddamn videos against Steve.